So, where is that green-red? There it is. So now we're looking for the other green-red piece on the cube. Where is it? There it is. Right there. So, we're going to bring it to the back. Again, just experiment. Find the fastest way for you. So here it is, right here. And we want it to go here. This is a perfect, perfect uh, scenario to show you how to do two edges at a time. Right? There is a way to do it where you can solve two edge pieces at a time. Right now, what we've been doing is bringing this down, right, to connect, and then replacing this edge with an edge that's not built yet so we can fix the centers. That puts some random piece back into this position when we, repl when we fix the centers. I'll show you. Watch. See this red-yellow piece? Watch what happens. So I'm going to connect these three, right? Turn it off to the side, replace with an edge that's not built yet, this one, Re remember this red yellow piece, bring it back up to the top, and fix the centers. Now see, that red yellow piece that was here just got replaced back into this position, where our, the piece that we were working with once was. So watch, here, I'll do this again. Hmm. Ah, okay. Here we go. Hmm. Okay. So, let's say we want to... We're going to do this one, right? We're going to do the green reds. Let's say we want to solve this green yellow too at the same time. Let's find the other green-yellow piece. Here it is. Right? All right? I'll show you. What we want to do is get it to be right here. Again, just experiment. Find ways to move outer layers to get it where you need it to be. So here we have this green-red going to go here. So let's do that. And remember, this piece should be the one that needs to go here eventually. So green-yellow, green-yellow to match with those two. So we're going to connect the green reds, right, like we normally do. do. Exactly the same, turn it off to the side, replace it with an edge that's not done. But see, the edge that we're replacing it with contains that green yellow right there. So that way, when we bring it back up to the top, and we fix the centers, instead of picking a random undone edge, we controlled which edge we did. So that now, this piece from the from the edge that was not built came back here and at the same time we built those green reds I'll do that again just so you can follow because I'm sure that was fairly confusing okay so let's see let's pick another one here we have blue yellow I want it to connect it to this blue yellow center right here this blue yellow is sitting next to a black and blue centerpiece, that means on the edge of the center. So what we're going to do is try to find the black and blue piece that should go, I'm sorry, right here. And that should be this one. So look around, find the piece that you want. Okay. This piece, as you can see, will eventually go right here, right? So what we're gonna do is do the blue yellows like normal, connect, right? Turn them off to the side. Bring down the edge that's not built that contains the black and blue. Put it back up to the top. And fix the centers, that way the black and blue goes back there next to the other black and blue piece. So if you can't do the two at once right at the beginning don't worry it's a little more confusing I actually would strongly recommend you only do one at a time at first one piece at a time because that'll get you a lot used, more used to it and you'll be surprised do that for a week come back watch this video again follow the explanation of two at a time it will seem infinitely easier much less confusing um, alright 
So that's how you do an edge. Um, I think that if I went through all of them like that with you, my tape would run out very quickly. So I'll do one more, and then I will zoom ahead to the solving like a 3x3 part. And that will be in a separate video. Okay? So here we have a blue-yellow. We want it to connect it to this, these blue-yellows. I'll do a single again, only one at a time, just so you can follow. Okay? So, I'm going to connect it. Turn it off to the side. Replace with an edge that's not done yet. Put it back up. And fix the centers. Alright? Oh, actually, instead of zooming ahead to the solving it like a 3x3 part, there are some some special cases that can happen with the last sets of edges when you're when you're working with the edges. So that will be the next video.